Hello there, Dreads Mawa here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for guys today. Coming at you with the OG intro this time, because my voice is actually healing. Like, I can speak better than yesterday and the day before, so I'm in a very good mood, because I wasn't really sure how long it was going to take for my voice to recuperate, but the fact that it's actually getting a little bit better every day, just, uh, I don't know, man, I'm just really happy about it, so wanted to share and i hope you guys are excited for the gameplay videos to come back onto the channel because that's what we're all about today we're gonna put 12 year old react andy to the side on the bench like tom kench i, I don't even know what i'm saying we're gonna essentially go and do the regular thing that we do on this channel right here and that is post gameplay videos with decks that we build and we're gonna showcase perfect stance which is my take on udir Victor, a very, very fun archetype that I've been optimizing quite a bit, and I'm really excited to share with you guys my take on this champion combination, and I'm going to explain why I chose the cards that I chose and all that good stuff, and essentially what I'm going to do until the expansion hits, which is like less than a week at this point, so it's not going to be that many videos uh, before we're going to be messing around with the new cards, which is a good thing, but I am going to try to explore the cards that were buffed in the latest balance patch. I took a long break, so I didn't really get to actually showcase, you know, a, a bunch of those. You guys saw a Katarina there in the mist, as I'm going to showcase that too. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to dabble into champions that got buffed and some of the uh, new cards that were introduced as well, because there were like two or three. And uh, I mean, we're going to showcase one of them here, an inner beast, right? So hopefully I get to uh, dabble into all that. We'll also continuing to react to the champion reveals and all that stuff. And yeah, it just feels good to be back with the daily uploads. And I'm just like ranting at this point, but I am I just feel great, man. Like I'm actually getting my voice back and I feel like I'm getting back to normal. And I just, I'm on cloud nine and I'm gonna stop rambling at this point because we actually got to talk about the deck and not take forever. So yeah, let's actually do that. Leave a like for incessant rambling. Thank you. So here we go. We got Victor and Udir, and this is an archetype. There's several ways that people have been building with Udir. Uh, I've seen Akshan Udir decks. Uh, I personally prefer Victor Udir because I believe the two champions synergize very well together. They have similar game plans, even though there is an argument for running Udir as a two of in this deck. Uh, and actually running a one-off of something like Vi, for example, I think that could actually make the deck a little bit better, but we're going to go with 3-3 three and three for this time around. The reason I say this is because Udir is a 3 of uh, in decks that don't really benefit from Spirits Unleash, which is the majority of them, really. Uh, it can be a little bit counterproductive because his signature spell is really bad, right? Uh, Victor's signature spell is actually pretty damn useful against a lot of decks right now as it provides us with cheap removal. Like, dealing one damage at fast speed for one mana is actually not that bad at all. So, we don't mind drawing multiple, multiple copies of Victor, but Udir can be a bit of a liability if we draw, like, all three. So, I do think, uh, as a two of, it could be a little bit better, but for now, we're going with this. So, we are combining both of these champions to essentially benefit from their synergies revolving around creating stuff, right? Like, both of them like to make stuff. Victor creates inventions, like machines and... and hex deck stuff and Udir just like dances around while making animal noises and both of them embrace these they are content creators in a way right <laughs> and I, I was like that term content creator it's like a very fancy way of saying asshole who talks in front of a camera in his computer and uploads it onto youtube you know content creators like so i don't, I don't, I don't feel like I, I i i've never you know i've always been a bit edgy against that term but you know that's just also me me be me and here i am going on some other weird tangents. So, yeah, we have uh, an Android as our three drop of choice here because we are trying to benefit from the augment mechanic here. We're not playing Ballistic Bot, as you can see, uh, because ever since the nerf, I don't really think it's good enough, especially in comparison to our other two drops available to us uh, with this region combination. We're running a full set of Pharaoh's Financer because Pharaoh's creates stuff with Manifest, and that's very good. We're playing Volpine Wanderer because it also creates something which is really neat. Having two drops that create spells in a deck that wants to create stuff is pretty profitable, especially considering we synergize with the stand swap. And we're playing a couple of copies of Iceville Archer. The reason why we're doing this is because the, the way we structured the deck, we have Pharaoh's Financer, Archer, we have Kylie Tavern Keeper for the aggro matchup, and just to stay alive, because sometimes we can get a bit of a slow start, and uh, we work for our, you know, build up, and we can lose to a opponent that is pressuring us. So having Tavern Keeper there can be neat. And by having these upon entry, play and or summoning effects, and also these snow 
low volley threats, we have really good targets for iterative improvement, right? We can iterative improvement our own Pharaoh's Financer to generate another card in a, in a, in a match that's dragging out and we need to keep on going with the value. We can use it on Iceville Archer to get another Iceville Archer, which is a very high impact two drop that can save our booty in many matchups. Uh, Lurk, you know, any sort of matchup with big elusive units, Overwhelms, Pantheon, etc. This card is really, really clutch in that sense. And speaking of Frostbites, that's what we're also playing a full set of Three Sisters. Three Sisters also happens to work pretty well with Victor because we are creating the freezes. So we are promoting Victor as a level up. And once Victor is leveled up, then this card is just nuts because we don't really have any downside to it. We, that one mana that we're spending to create the... Uh, spell is going to be mitigated because of the cost reduction afterwards. Then we're playing a full set of Elixir of Iron because we have Snowball units. We want to keep them alive. So we want to be able to use Fraljord's amazing protective tools by combining a full set of Elixir of Iron and a full set of Troll Chant because Troll Chant is busted. And if you're playing Fraljord, you play Troll Chant. That's right, really much more to say about that. Missing Shot, pretty good to have a little bit of a reach, you know, being able to burn out the opponent uh, in the late game or deal with some pesky early game threats and Inner Beast because it's a combat track that gives us stand swap. So we play Inner Beast. It's a pretty neat card, honestly. Like it definitely does give us a little bit of fuel. It also can allow us to survive certain exchanges as well. Not quite as good as Stroll Champ, but definitely uh, suggest playing it in this deck. As then we have a full set of High Era Ulseer at the high end of the curve as this is a card that got buffed alongside Udyr and it is a very neat buff. One of the buffs that I was most excited about actually because it makes this an ongoing value engine that allows us, not, not necessarily value engine, but tempo engine, right? That allow us to just keep playing these stands off at the beginning of every round and being able to free up the mana so that we can start dropping the big boy spells that Pharaohs is making us. Uh, or maybe potentially even going for multiple stances. The idea is by chaining these stances alongside Victor's hex core upgrade, we have another alternate win condition in the Android, and we set up a board state in which we aim to uh, beat down the opponent in you know around like turn seven or eight, depends on on you know how we curve out and such. But that's generally the idea. We're not the fastest of decks. But we're fast enough, and it's a very fun deck to play. And I really feel like the full set of interim improvement gives us a lot of flexibility. A, a really neat way for us to be able to adapt to all sorts of different matchups with the uh, followers that we chose here specifically. So really proud of this deck. I think it's pretty well optimized. And I've seen uh, multiple other variants of these two champions together. And I do feel like this is the best one that I've... I mean, I'm biased, <laughs> naturally. But it's felt pretty neat. And uh, it's been really fun as well as we played this in mass rank for a session today and that's where i'm gonna stop rambling yeah under eight minutes not not that bad well we're actually going over eight minutes now i, I kind of ruined it but you know hopefully it was uh this deck tech was useful in that sense when it comes to the mulligan um depending on the matchup you keep or you don't keep udir you always keep victor and you can actually mulligan away in the android because it is a nice unit to curve into but uh, it is important to find your two drops, like your Pharaohs and your Vulpine is really neat. And uh, generally speaking, unless, you know, depending on the matchup, you do want to mulligan away your spells as well. You want to mulligan pretty aggressively with this deck, because ideally you want to find Victor on curve, which can then allow you to curve into Udyr very nicely and uh, allow you to get the ball rolling. So that's where I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. I kind of like stuttered there at the end. I don't know why. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you have a soul day. Hope you like the games. I'm repeating myself. Love ya. I'll see you tomorrow. Nick D. Dynamite. Or D. Okay. Uh, that. Yeah. Is our first opponent. And uh, he's playing Fizz Ophelios. I have faced this deck uh, several times yesterday when I was trying stuff out. So I, I, I know it's definitely one of the more popular ones running around right now. A little bit sad that Aphelios ended here because <laughs> it's Bandle City. <laughs> That's, I'm so over Bandle City, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, what do we do here? Like, do, do we go, like, I think I'm gonna go for a full Mulligan, to be honest. Even though Udyr is nice to have, Victor is the one that we keep because drawing multiple Udyrs doesn't really get us anywhere. And uh, I'm already regretting adding you, Von Jip. Like, I, I have to use you as my pet, you know? But Jesus Christ. Shut the fuck up! Alright, we're gonna pass here. 
carry over the spell mana, it's fine. I say, you know, we're not in a hurry a lot, even though it's not true, you're always in a hurry. In Legend of Terra, but... We're gonna preserve our archer for a more key turn, since this deck revolves uh, a lot around... Developing that, okay, let's... I would like to... I want them to commit something here. It's a good play though, not doing anything. Oh my god, Von Jip. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to... I, I think I'm gonna replace you with the... Maybe the cosmic one isn't as noisy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. Because Jesus Christ, bro, you are... Exalt me like the god I am! Now! You are the most annoying pet in this game. My god. All right. There's the elusive. Not really much we can do here. I can just go for this, though. Just to make good use of my mana. Heal up my android. Let me at him. While developing the stand swap, which we can start by using here. Okay. We gotta play a slow here. We gotta try to build up our win condition and make our elusive units match theirs. Especially this one, right? Which is... Spooky enough already. Mom spaghetti. Hira Hyera. I think you call it Hyera. Just bandle city things. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop you. I think now's a good time for it. A chill in the air. Give you guys a blocker for this. That's. <laughs> That's actually insane. Um, if he goes for the overwhelm here. We we'll just let that slide, honestly. Just gotta develop here because one swing from Soul Squirrel. This won't be a problem until you know it gets really big. And if I trade my archer into it, then I can just finish it off with a Mystic Shot. Actually, no, because he'll get the buff. The plus one health buff, so... Never mind. But we can always freeze it. My strength is yours. Okay, so it's it's a 6-6. Six, six. No matter how we approach it... i to keep our combat trick here. My life forever also. Take 5 damage here, but we weaken it considerably. I think that's what we have to do. There's Udyr, a bit late though. We want to play you instead. An old hawk brings omens, a goat brings me. We got the stances here. More RNG. I love, I love, uh, manifesting. Forgot the word. Okay, Calibrum is a little bit annoying. Um, I think we start, um, yeah, we put this at range. We're gonna go for the ramp stance uh, and use it on this and the android because they're gonna go for the caliber on the on the healthier one. Distribute like this, we get rid of Fizz and we also eliminate. I think we're gonna kill Aphilios now. What wondrous discoveries await below? Claws out! An old woman and a blind goat? You can always attack with this. I do force this trade here. I think it's fine just keeping it like this and attacking with these two. 
No, I'm gonna. Okay, okay. Persistence is key. It's actually great. I forgot about the reduction. I forgot about the reduction. I still can deal with this though, but killing Aphelios is really important here. I can use Entomb to... He's gonna try to kill me with this, so I can always entomb it. I still see fate here for you. Unless he has something like a bastion or friendship. Magic to spread around. But I actually have enough to do that and to. Well, no, not to troll chant anymore, but I don't think these decks though they don't play like Bastion. Yeah, I don't play Bastion. So this is the play because by by doing that we eliminate the uh, that pesky thing, and now I can actually use this on the Ulsier. Let's say I have something like double Pokey Stick. We are going to try to get a win here with Udyr. That's fine. Like, double Pokestick is what stops this. Because we, we really want this higher else here to remain healthy so that we can just st start spamming our, our stand swaps. We're very close to a level up for Udyr. And that's our win con. We're relatively healthy. We got the Kylie Tavern Keeper here in the back of as well. We are not out of the woods by any means, but we've dealt with the Philios. We've dealt with the, the Swole Squirrel, you know, with Furry Grappler. They did have a, a Pokey Stick, but not two. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good job. You did great. I'd be... I'd feel safer if I drew into another Three Sisters, to be honest. Just follow the yellow light. Easy. Oh, Jesus. Another created... Man. Everything creates everything. I still see fate here for you. I don't make another one if I do that. I derped. Whatever. I I, I want to have Udyr with Overwhelm. Ah, this is probably a mistake, though. I mean, I could go for the Spirits Unleashed. This plus stand swap allows me to clear that, but it doesn't represent lethal. I could actually. But I mean, this thing just grows out of it, anyways. The storm comes. Yeah, I, I, I think I did this wrong. Because I would have had another one, another. But I mean, I, I'm gonna get it for free next round, anyways. We gotta put him on a two turn clock. We have Trochant and Kylie Tavern Keeper to disrupt whatever they wanna do. <laughs> that is great for my vocal cords. Alright, that's a that's a turn that's a two turn clock. Like we're gonna kill him next round. So we have to survive their incoming attack. Which is easier said than done. We definitely gotta go with Tavern Keeper. Come on in! Come on in! A Three Sisters would be a godly top deck here. Heart of the Cards. Gotta believe. Gotta believe. Man, I wish Udyr's 
change of spell was a little bit better. <laughs> like, it's, it really, this really holds it back, man. Like, it's not awful. All right. Okay. Even like, at least make it fast speed so I can chain it here and I can try to clear him. I'm, I'm at their mercy. Dead on. Because I cannot chain these two. We gotta go with this now. So that if they want to develop anything else here. Alright. Well. We're obviously gonna do this. I am too old to die. And this. Problem is like a, a hush or something here. I'm gonna go for the ram. Just so that I clear this jump blocker here. So that if they do have something like a hush. I force him to block with that. I could have used the uh, the troll champ preemptively to to essentially force that, but we may have him. <laughs> got him! Mama, we got him! There we go! God, my my throat. <laughs> There we go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Udir died though. Echo Zillion. I miss me some predict. I mean, obviously we're not keeping Harals here, but I'm thinking about Udir because this is a slower matchup. There could be an argument for it. I like the Troll Chant as well, though. I'm, I'm gonna keep Udir. I'm still not sold on keeping Udyr in the opener because, you know, it is a 5-drop. Champions are important. The problem with Udyr, like, part of me actually wants to take away one Udyr and, well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna let Von Jip, you know. Can I, can I talk? I, I'm like 100% kicking you out. I, I actually, I hate you. I despise you. I'm gonna go ahead and drop by uh, you. Our eyes lead to hidden paths. So, what was I saying? Um, Just out of yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Thank you, Von Dip. Thank you for doing whatever it is you're doing. The way is always the same. Yeah, I, I, okay, so I was saying, <laughs> now I remember. So I was saying that uh, Udir is actually pretty, obviously very important for this deck, but I, I would argue Hyera Ulsir is the three of, I think you can maybe take out one Udir for one Vi, just because you don't really, like, I, I know we used the signature spell last game, you know, <laughs> like it actually did something, but I still think a Vi would be arguably better. His, his spell is just really bad is the issue. I cry every time. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and drop you. Now there is no talk. We don't have troll chant anymore. Uh, my, my nose is clogged up. In case, in case my, my voice sounds like, you know. Oh, that's great. Quickly. 
Phenomenal. Our an android does not die to that, so we have to play accordingly. Oh, I just realized the burst burst spell does not work anymore. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Like we still make them burn a lot of mana. Uh, kind of sad that that is. Lead us to their heart. Okay, so even if they do go for this, like plus four health, it's very difficult for them to overcome, right? Now. Such is my oath. They could have a mystic shot and this, which would be really unfortunate. They go for it. We're gonna go for our stand swap, and we are gonna pump up this Udir. This Udir is our win condition. The color is off. We're gonna go for this. Get that regeneration, because in this matchup, it's gonna be difficult for them to deal with it. They, they need they, they need to resort to damage. There's no recall. There's no like just straight up removal in that sense. I think what I want to do... Behold me, hairless ape. The same calling card from our other case. The fear is wise. I'm gonna attack with everything. Because this thing dies to their crystal anyway, so I, I, I want to actually get some value out of it. Interesting. Okay, they do get the drop border. That's unfortunate because I really want to tweet this up. Maybe they don't make that exchange. Ah, boo! But that, that makes my life a little bit easier, actually. Let's try that. That. I've been practicing, and it's not perfect. But look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. I could set up a, a clear, but I don't think I need to. It's an awesome day for progress. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, my nose. I'm gonna be able to threaten this zillion. Have you come to aid your old friend, young fox? Yes, old man. We heard your call. I've been practicing, and it's not perfect. But look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. Sam, all right. Don't touch it. Listen to me. It doesn't add up. We're gonna go for troll chat like this because this way we preserve Rudir even after the exchange. We don't die to Hexite Crystal. We lose this the Android.
Go away! I think that's what he says. Who they? Hear me! Hear me! <laughs> I can't do it. Man, I love this board. Alright, there's the drop border. Again, I'm not going to prioritize dealing with that until absolutely necessary. I'm gonna go with you. I mean, pack mentality is pretty brutal. But it's kind of redundant at this point, especially because I can generate more. For none. I think I'm gonna take the hex deck out really. Because it could just become something insane, right? So we're gonna be working hard to prevent that zillion level up. Okay, that's actually pretty neat. Yeah, there we go. Let's actually do this. Well, they've only played one zillion, right? Because they've only played one zillion, that's their last time, Bob. So I don't have to rush dealing with zillion. I would like to play Victor this round. But I gotta make sure that I, I deal with Echo. Like, I'm, I'm taking zillion's signature spell into account here. But I think there's no reason not to just lead off with this. Not overthink it. Keep the boomerang blade for Echo. I can't play you, but that's fine. I think this is alright. We could have another round of negation, but we already got one out of it. And this allows us to get the uh, the stands for Udir as well. Ha ha ha! Boomerang win, baby! There we go! Clean! Clean! The gods have spoken. Mm -hmm. All right. I think this is a great mother, actually. And we're going to go ahead and go for a full mulligan here. Because even the android, I mean, it's nice, but we want to find our champions. Especially that, that victor. Even though here they could definitely run homecoming or something like that. I'm not really sure, though. I think I want to develop you. Yeah. Because I, I don't think I need that. Um, let's go Shaman's Call. I don't think I need that two mana for Crow Chant here. I'm not really worried about them, like, pinging down my. my win cons. I'm going to swing with Pharaohs because two damage is better than one, which is what I'll, I'll lead up to because they're definitely not going to have something. Yeah. And we still have one mana for the Elixir of Iron, which is really neat. Feels good. We're gonna go Victor here. We're gonna start pursuing perfection. I'll trade for that. The time of machines is now. I'm always up for a round or two. I'm a people person. Gotta be careful for them not to level up uh, Twist of Fate. The power of progress. Bitter, 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 bitter. That spell shield is very nice. Especially after they play Twist of Fate. Let's lead off with the upgrade first. The Let's go with the Meowster piece so that we can develop Udyr after, but Passover Initiative. Okay, that's pretty neat. That gives us even more room to work with. Keep up, keep up. Is Charmed, I'm sure. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely want to keep Victor around, so. Let's go with that. And now we can do this. Submit. Why are you here? Mm. 
I'm kind of regretting this decision here because if they do play a Twisted Fate after we play this, they get a pretty nice clear there. What should I do? I think I'm going to let that exchange happen. Just because otherwise I give him too good of a TF. I'm your man. Let's go with the Anomaly. Anomaly can put in the work. You bared, you bore weakness. English, let's do it. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. I don't care, Isla. I never did. Let's go with you first. Genius! They can still play Twisted Fate. <laughs> Let's uh go with you. Ladies and gentlemen, we may find some actual utility. <laughs> atrocity. We could actually go for an atrocity. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Are we gonna go for an atrocity lethal here? Looks like I'm ready. Bye -bye. We have quick attack. Race royalty. I mean... I just don't think we quite have it. We have nine mana, so we can only spend two mana. And uh, there's just not, we, we, we can't break through this. I think that's fine. It's, it's, it's a bit cheesy, I, I don't know. I mean, it'd be, it'd be funny to win like that, but I'm not devastated no about it, you know? I think we can actually do this. Let's play a little bit of uh, Spirits Unleashed here. Actually, I, I like this better. No, let's go with you. The waters nurture the Marai. Make it rain is the only thing that I, I, I think they could play here. So this right here is very safe, actually. Ooh, cheeky you. We're gonna attack like this. Because this forces them to train into this. No, 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 no. Yep, it don't work like that. Yep, you have to pray like that. It sucks, I know. I know, bro. But that's what good attack ordering can do for you. And now, we can just ram for the win. Hopefully. I mean, it could, it could still be denied, so let's... I mean, we, we have we have this. Uh, yeah, like we have shamans into this. <laughs> we have triple ram if needed. Mm, no. Soak it in. Ah, uh, you're gonna soak it in. You're gonna get tackled on the belly! The perfect ram. Never saw it coming. <laughs> oh, maybe he did. GG! <laughs> the gods have spoken. <laughs> What is this? So I'm geek. What? What? What is this? Shit. Uh, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it already. We're gonna drop all these and keep the Pharaoh find it, sir. And we're gonna draw into E Deer. That makes me happy. And Victor. Oh boy. What more could I ask for? Oh, now facing Battle City Ionia. That's <laughs> with 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 Yubi. Like I I don't I don't even want to know, man. Honestly, like, they could have just like... Mama's oh got boy, a gun. Mama's got a gun. I mean... It's an awesome day for progress. Only to get denied, but... Gotta believe. Gotta dream big.
But you can't really dream bigger than this. It's not even that great in this deck because... I mean, we get summoning effects at least, but... It's not terrible. We, we, we can actually make use of it. It can do something. Oh, unfortunate. Alright, they're going wide. But not applying too much pressure for now. We got triple victor. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. We are going to Trochan Poppy so she cannot buff this board. Over here. And honestly, like I'd like to see I'd like to try to kill this. The odds of them having another one were not really that great. And we go for the gamble, and we get rid of Fizz. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ionia, though. I'm gonna play you, dear. I could keep the crow champ, but let's keep you in the back. So we do have the wall up. This incoming attack is gonna be pretty rough on us. Uh, we have several options here. I still don't know what they have Ionia for. But I can block with Udyr into things. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, regen onto Victor. Come at me, bro. Come at me! We buff up our Udyr so we can trade into uh, pretty much anything. We get... We deny uh, Poppy again. I was gonna say Troppy. Oh. Or do we? I guess not. But I can't do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go for this. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Your ulcer will nothing kill you. <laughs> Your foul smell might kill me, oh dear. Why he wouldn't just like use that to ping off my my spell shield though? Just bop you. Falls from the mountains. Swing with you. I could swing with Udyr as well, but I, I should keep him in the back. 
Persistence is key. Clear the poppy. My research. We can use iterative improvement onto Pharaohs here to get us some more value. Where'd we end up this time, Book? Okay, well that's getting big. Can't trade that and that. Okay, that's fine. I guess he that wasn't what, he, what Swam Gagi here had originally planned. You can't stack these attach units. Thank God. I think I take this hit. Anomaly. And <laughs> we get many more. <laughs> Not bad. Our rage is beyond your control. Man, lots of Bandle City today. I guess this is a straight up Bandle Tree. I assume. Maybe not. I think we're going for a full million here, ladies and gentlemen, because we want that victor. I'd like these if um, yeah, I, I I keep I keep like you actually made it the entire video, budget. I kept forgetting to eradicate you. Good job. Never again. I'm never using this battle plan again. It's like, uh, I, at least it doesn't go off the entire game. Could you imagine if he was like doing that the entire match? Oh my god, dude. Let's go with Cat. I mean, it's just so fitting. Like, I, I can't like not do it. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Let's go. Grab my hat. Comb my mustache. Uh, no. I'm not even gonna wait. I'm gonna bop this immediately in case they have a Proto Poro. We wanna slow them down as much as we can. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Phenomenal. So next round we play Udir. We play Volpine. As we play Udir, we get to do that immediately. That allows us to potentially apply some pressure. I think I like that. Patience, cautious, and quiet. This is our way. We also just double up on them, to be honest. I don't think there's a reason not to. Though maybe there is. Really? I mean, now. Evil slow them. Now we have a nice ram here. I'm gonna go for the regeneration. Because if they do wanna. If they do wanna go for a ravenous flock, I can respond with this. Just kill me. Unless you have two of them. We get some nutty value here. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. Right, we know, we know, unless you top deck, we know that they don't have another Ravenous Flock. Uh, drawing Kindly Tower Keeper is really neat here as well. <laughs> All right. You know what? That's a good way to end it. Making a bad little city player cry uncle. The gods have spoken. Yep.